just because I'm transgender doesn't mean I'm different in any way or that I'm a bad person. I'm normal, just like everybody else. Being polite. Being polite. I'm glad that I have friends that actually understand what I'm going through. It feels really nice because I now know who I am and who I was meant to be. I really like this shirt. It says born a unicorn, cause you know, I was born a unicorn. <laughs> and also this shirt has a little foreshadowing about what you might see me wearing. Um, I also really like this shirt, as you know. I think it's really pretty with all the stars and the color. I just think it's really cool and fits. Around the age of two, she started asking for different types of toys. And then I think the first big thing that we noticed was that she wanted to dress as Cinderella for Halloween. I have a couple shorts I like in here. I'm gonna pull it out. I like this one, because you know, it's got like the lace and stuff, which I think is super pretty. So at right before her eighth birthday, she came out from her room one morning and she said, I'm Lily all the time now, only use girl pronouns, and I'm not gonna be Jack anymore. It, I like this side because it's like really super um, psychedelic. Cool. This is Hall. Probably from first to third grade was when I was like bullied a lot. You know, I was really sad going to school sometimes because I knew I was gonna be teased or bullied or like told like you shouldn't be wearing this stuff. Cause you know, in second grade, I was still saying my old name. So that was like a week before you were born. Hmm. Here, and that's your first picture. Aww. Screaming baby. Look at you. I, I used to cut your hair, did you know that? Yeah. You hated it. <laughs> and you would just like yell at me the whole time. Wait, let me, can I push it? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. There you are, picking out your Caroline. Mm. Oh, would you like this one? <laughs> Here's what it does. Uh, so yeah, your seventh birthday, we went to the American Girl store. <laughs> we had lunch. Yeah, I, I called ahead to, to make sure it was okay that Nobody was going to say anything to us. Mm. Is it weird to look at that picture? Mm, kind of, yeah. Why is it weird? Uh, it just makes it seem like, you know, it's not me. For me, I was definitely nervous just because she was a baby, you know. She was six years old and I just could not wrap my mind around the fact that she knew she was a girl. And, and how could a child that age know that? Yeah. You know, I just, I didn't get it. And I did research and found that she's not the only one. Hello, hello. Oh, look at you guys. Look at you. I think the support system is the biggest part of going through this process as parents of a trans kid. There are people out there who are like me. And then I realized, you know, I'm not the only transgender person in the world. There are you correct me. These are so awesome. Wait, is this a new one? Uh. There's a really big community here, huge. Um, and it just, it's so comforting to me. The fact that there's other kids and like they're all same age range and it's really cool to have that support system too. We immediately became friends. I'm like, this person understands what I'm going through. And I'm like, oh my God, she's so nice and sweet and kind. And yeah. And I wanted to be her friend. Oh, wait, that's a dog. oh no, he might get you. He might get you. When when Fiona was young, I really just thought I had a boy who liked girl stuff. Well, there was this time where um I wanted to be friends with this girl named Isabel, and I'm like um I she said I'm I only have girl friends, and I, I'm like but I am a girl. This way, just a monkey. Okay, what do I do? Uh, press A. 
she doesn't feel right in the body that she was in before, and now that she's happy with what she is in now, that's good. I don't really think anything different. The standout moment for me when I, I knew that I really couldn't even spend another day not transitioning was we were getting ready for bed one night and um, she said, Mama, I, I need to tell you that I, I think I was supposed to have been born a girl. And I said, honey, why do you think that? And she said, well, because I have a girl brain and I have a girl heart. And um, I knew at that moment that I needed to raise her differently. Couldn't, I couldn't just deny that. Uh, how did I first know um, that she was a she? Probably her whole life. <laughs> we became friends because we were both um, around the same age and transgender. So we both got along really well. I remember I was probably the only one in my classes who really hung out with the girls and played with the girl toys and stuff and it was just, they felt really uncommon and I felt different. Um, the first time we let her go uh, shopping in a skirt, she was delighted. She was dancing around and happy, but also really, really nervous um, about what people would think or say. Being polite. And since she's transitioned, it's like she was in this little part and then she's filled out this whole persona of who she is. Once you start to read the medical background of what gender dysphoria is and that it's a, it's a medical condition, it's not just a mental state. It's not something that's made up. When an eight-year-old tells you she's in the wrong body, she means it. After she transitioned at six, um, it was night and day. This was, this was the happiest kid. She was just embracing life. You could see that there was this complete exuberance for getting to just be who she really was. We've had a lot of negative responses from strangers, family, friends, Facebook. People come out of the woodwork to let you know that, that you're harming your child by allowing her to be transgender. And it's something that we've just rolls off our back at this point. Any mother, I think everybody worries about their kids being bullied. But when you have a transgender kid, obviously, you know, the fear of bullying just, you know, it just goes up exponentially. I hope that Lily is happy. That's all I want for her. I want her to be, feel that she can make choices in her life that support what she feels in her heart. But as long as she's, she can wake up in the morning and be like, I'm Lily, I'm me, and be okay with it, that's all that matters to me. We need to do this more often. <laughs> it feels really nice because I now know who I am and who I was meant to be. I just want to like have people like, hey, you're cool, like, there's nothing wrong with you or anything like that. They would know I'm transgender and there's like nothing wrong with that. Since so I've thought about it over the years, I'd say, um, hey, this is who I am and I need you to respect that or go over there, don't hang out with me if you don't like me, okay? 